to my channel. Today we are gonna get down and dirty and we are doing a huge spring cleaning video. I already got started last week. I wanted to start by cleaning up my living room. So this corner behind me hadn't been cleaned out all the way yet, but there were a bunch of blankets and just a bunch of crap back there. And then there was this bucket that didn't fit my storage room. And then my storage room was also just a mess. So I went to Ikea to look at some stuff, bought a few items. And one of those items was this white cabinet I was putting together. And I'm gonna put this where that bucket was and put the stuff in the bucket in there. And then extra blankets, extra games. Cause I always have games out on like the counter or the kitchen table and I hate when stuff is there and then now having a roommate i feel like we just fill up space so fast and i need more storage and i thought this was really cute i've been wanting something in my living room for extra storage anyway but i literally forget how long it takes to put together stuff from ikea i was like oh i can do this real quick no this took like two hours and then one of the doors kind of struggles to close because i put it on wrong but i i've made it work so now it looks like this and it looks really nice in my opinion I did a bit of Amazon shopping. I've never been more excited about something in my life. Package has arrived. Let's open it up. This is what I ordered and I'm gonna put plants and books on it. Ah! So excited. So I was at Ikea and I found this like plant slash book shelf and I was obsessed, but it was kind of expensive and out of stock everywhere so i could have got it on amazon but then it was more expensive so i shopped around on amazon and decided to get this plant rack thing whatever you call these plant shelf and i was also going to use it as a bookshelf so i put this together i literally gave myself a splinter so i had to put on these gloves that came with it which was kind of funny i'm like I'm using this mallet and just smashing everything together hoping that i'm doing this right it took forever to figure out honestly but i finally did it and it is the cutest thing ever. I love the like natural wood or bamboo look. And I put it up against the wall. I put some plants on it and some books. And I'm literally obsessed. This brings like a whole new vibe into my room. Then I bought a storage cubicle type of thing for my storage closet. So I have this closet under the stairs that is a literal mess. Everything is just shoved in there. If I need something in there, I'll literally be like, I know what's in there. But I'm not going to take everything out just to get it. I think this is actually the last thing that I got. I'm pretty excited for this one though, it's much needed. So I put this together, once again, underestimated how long this would take, but this was from Amazon and everything just clicked together. And then I got these like cute little baskets to put into those. I'm literally obsessed, this is so cute. Ah! All right, now we have to complete the hard task. Now to clean the closet, somebody please Wish me luck. First step is literally gonna just be taking everything out. So I started by just taking everything out of there and it made my house look like an absolute mess, but I have learned over the years that everything has to look worse before it can look better. And of course I did like a nice deep clean in there, vacuumed, but my vacuum wasn't working very well. So then I ended up just sweeping and mopping and then I could start organizing. So I put everything in there and organized it pretty well, putting things in the baskets and whatnot just to realize I hated the way that it was put together. Closet is finished. Now, it may not look much better, but I actually know where everything is now. So everything is accessible a lot easier than it was before. And a lot of the stuff that used to be in there, we're gonna take up to Charlie's storage unit because it's like her Christmas decorations and stuff, which opened up a lot more room. So here's the results. Ta-da! I'm still working with like where things should go exactly, but this is kind of how I have it so far. I'm taking a lot of the sweatshirts that were down here to my room. The only thing that takes up a lot of space is honestly all the cleaning supplies. So if we could take this to the storage unit, I really don't think we're gonna need a carpet cleaner and all of her Christmas stuff. And then honestly, I'm like, what if I got another one of these and then stacked it again? Cause this is like way shorter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna make up here. And then that could give us some more storage space. Just some ideas, but that is much better. So then after I got done, I was like, oh, it's looking pretty good. I then decided to redo it. So I took everything out again and reorganized. I put down a little rug. I have this extra rug and I was gonna get rid of it. And I was like, wait, I can just put it in here. And now everything is accessible. It still looks somewhat like a mess, but to me, I know where everything is. And it would just take moving a couple of things to grab something out that I need rather than taking everything out of the closet to let's say get my suitcase in the back. I also use this as an extra coat closet, but I moved all of my sweaters upstairs and have new storage for my sweaters. So now I just have like a couple of jackets and stuff. Ta-da! 
I could fit a few more like hoodies that I know are just out of season right now. I mean, all hoodies are out of season, but like this is a Valentine's Day hoodie and then some stuff like that that I just don't wear that often. And now I can actually walk in here. I can access all five of these bins and that last one I don't need access to. It's just like stuff from moving and whatnot. Pretty proud. And then the carpet cleaner is in the far back corner because I probably won't need it very often. I can access my suitcase without it being too much trouble. I fit my lighting back in here and my toolbox is very accessible. Everything that I know I need access to, I know exactly how to move things to get to it and it'll only take like five seconds. Before, if I was like, oh, I know something's in there, there was no way I was gonna go get it. And I ordered these like water things for clean water and if I could even fit like one or two in here, that would make so much more space like out in my living area. So that's really nice to know I can fit some in there. Just right there on the floor. Then in the same day that I cleaned out the closet, I like last minute decided to just go through every single clothing item in my closet. I tried on every shirt that I own and decided if I should keep it or not. And I still had clothes from freshman year of high school. And I finally got rid of them. It was really hard because I have like sentimental attachments to clothes, but I finally just decided to do it. You know, I'm in a new era of life. We need to get rid of those clothes that have memories. And I don't like being sentimental mentally tied to clothes so it felt really good to get rid of them I didn't feel myself trying on all the clothes because it would have just been a lot of footage to cut up with me like shirtless and then with a shirt and then shirtless and then with a shirt so um this is the aftermath then I took them to play-dohs I just finished organizing all of those clothes I went through and I have this huge basket and then this box is full of clothes too half this stuff is like I haven't even worn yet but it just doesn't fit or I just don't like it. So taking it to Play-Dohs, hopefully they'll buy like some of it. From Play-Dohs Closet, I actually got $79. So I'd say that's pretty solid. They only bought 11 of the items. So I'm just gonna donate the rest of them. That pretty much brings us to today. So now we're just gonna do some kind of like tidying up, spring cleaning type of things. That's all the stuff that I'm gonna buy. But my friend did bring over, she had an extra like one of those Ikea cubicle things. So let me show you that real quick. So this is my room. And it go, there's some stairs and then at the top of the stairs she gave me this so I have all of my sweatshirts because I have so many sweatshirts but I can never get rid of them I know it still kind of looks like a mess and I have my trash can up here and an extra blanket my tripods over there I know it looks like a mess but it is a lot more organized and then I have extra shoes down there as well um that is broken I need to throw it away actually that needs to go downstairs and I can't decide if I should get rid of this blanket or not because it is really cute but it gets everything all like fuzzy from it like everything comes off of it so I just have it here for now and then I did have my upstairs trash can for when I clean out my bathroom and stuff up here so I'm just putting it on top and honestly no one even comes up here so I think that's fine I don't have a before shot of my closet but it is a lot more organized that used to be filled with crap and now it's like empty I've got just my shoes and everything and it just is so nice in here and then there's all the random crap I actually have two of these chairs and I brought this one up here and it's honestly such a vibe I know I have so many like sitting things but I love the chair it's so comfy to sit in and then I have the back basket right there but I use that to take my clothes to play-doh so that will return with extra blankets and my yoga mat and that stretchy thing and this is what my little plant thing looks like now I've kind of added some books and journals my iPad a little basket with like my eye mask and stuff it's just so nice and welcoming I've also been debating if I should just sell this because I bought it back in like November December thinking that I was gonna learn how to play piano and then it made me really frustrated I only practiced for like a week and it ended up being one of those things that I'm like I love this this is me my new hobby and then I never did again and it just takes up a lot of space and looks bad in the back of my videos and stuff so I'm kind of like I don't even use it no one uses it so maybe I should just get rid of it but then what if I do want to learn so I can't decide next spring cleaning step is to clean my bathroom under the sink it's a mess there's just random crap down there I haven't looked at this since I moved in so time to clean it I find the best course of action is to just always take everything out obviously it's like mostly cleaning supplies and extra soap so I threw out random trash and whatnot and then started organizing. I refilled my little Q-tip jar here, which I keep up on the counter and then put everything back in nice and organized. And I even had enough room to put extra towels, which was really nice. Now that's done. Then I went down into the kitchen and was just doing some basic kitchen cleaning, not necessarily like spring cleaning. Some things that were like more spring cleaning was cleaning my coffee area. This hasn't been cleaned in literally since I put the coffee maker there. So it was really gross. And I just wiped down that whole situation, the tray that I keep 
on, kind of cleaned out the coffee maker, and then now I'm going to store the Brita back there and all that stuff. Then I did all the sweeping and mopping in the kitchen, which I do weekly, but, you know, had to do for this video also. And I have the lavender scent of this, and it just smells so good. I absolutely love it. I got some towels out of the dryer, and I actually washed all of my, like, little hand towels, which I don't do as often, so that was nice. And then I started cleaning all the cabinets, which I literally haven't done all of them since I moved in. So it was nice to just get all of the crap off the cabinets and have them be nice and white and clean. And I love the smell of like a super clean kitchen. Then something I literally never do is clean off my stainless steel and I have a stainless steel cleaner. So I wiped down everything that had stainless steel. I also aggressively cleaned the top of the oven, but I did not like the stove top, but I didn't record that. I like took all these little things out and cleaned in there, which was so nice. Also in the last clip, I know the dishes weren't done, but I did it the day after this. So don't come after me. Then I just lit a little candle for the vibes, trying to make it smell nice and good in here. Now we are going outside. Now there's not really much to do here. I'm not gonna like do a whole remodel, but just clean it up a little bit. So I have these two old TVs that broke when I moved in, in July, and I hadn't gotten rid of them. So I finally got rid of those. Then I just kind of swept the deck. This was the before, that trash was not mine. It just comes in because there's like a weird angle right here from the apartments. This is my after, nothing crazy, but it looks a little bit better. And that pretty much wraps up my spring cleaning. I don't think my apartment has been this clean in... I don't even know how long, but I don't know if this is good or bad, but after doing the spring cleaning video, I've been like aggressively cleaning my house every day since, which is good because it keeps it clean. And if I do a little bit every day, then I don't have to do a big spring cleaning. So I guess that is a good thing. But here are the results of my clean house. I know I didn't have too many like before shots, so I don't even know if you guys can tell the difference, but hopefully this was motivation to go clean out and organize your apartment or house for spring. It's just such a good time to do it. It's about to be nice out. Get rid of junk you don't need. And it feels amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.